Hi, I'm Graham Trudeau, and today we'll be taking a look at a kind of different take on Simic from what I think most people have been running in the 2022 queue. Uh, I've been having some success with it, or finally got the deck to a decent point, so I thought I'd share it. Uh, in the one drop slot we have Blizzard Brawl, just really good interaction in general, the indestructible is always good. We also run Decisive Denial as actually our primary, or like our four of fight spell. This is because the secondary counter magic mode has just been incredibly important for denying blood on the snow, lolths like big splashy effects that normally knock creature decks out of the game. Uh, Decisive Denial is the deck's primary way of dealing with that. We also have Ranger Class, just good generic two drop card. Uh, Wolf Token, way to put counters on things. Like, it just, yeah, strong card. Uh, Emergent Sequence is a little bit odd in this deck. It is ramp. We do have big expensive things we're trying to ramp up to. But it's also just one of the only ways we have to make a zero base power and toughness thing with counters on it, um, on curve to like an efficient body. So don't be afraid to like emerge in sequence, and then once you have an Orin Reef ooze down, attack with it. It also synergizes with the Tanazir Quandrix, which I'll cover more in a minute. Uh, we have Dragon's Guard Elite, is a, another two drop that can get counters on itself. Originally, this deck started as Ooze Tribal, uh, after, you know, having a long dark tea time of the soul, I had to replace Ochre Jelly with something that was just a little more consistently good. Dragon's Guard Elite, in particular, in, uh, works really well with fight spells, like, you uh, resolve the counter trigger, like, it gets a counter before the fight resolves, so it can punch above its weight class. We have Jawari Disruption too, just as a little bit of secondary counter magic. The deck doesn't really want to spend a lot of card slots on counter magic, so Jawari Disruption is just a way to kind of sneak a little bit into the mana base. Uh, we have Orin Reef Ooze. This is our kind of big powerhouse-y curve-out creature. Uh, it gets more counters on all of our two drops and also works with some of the top end. Kazandu Mammoth just kind of curve stabilizing. Um, it's a way to put more lands in the deck without having consistent flood out issues. Uh, Quandrix Cultivator, there used to be more in the deck. Still just keeping two in here because um, the play pattern I particularly like with Quandrix Cultivator in a deck like this is Cultivator for green mana and then use that mana to Blizzard Brawl kill something. Uh, it just generally feels good, works, gets the job done. Uh, and helps you curve up to Tanazir Quandrix. So, Flying Trample, 4-4 four, four for 5 mana. When it ETBs, you can double the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on a creature, which is why we have so much emphasis on plus 1 plus 1 counters lower in the curve. Uh, also, whenever it attacks, you may have all your other creatures get his base power and toughness. So, all the 1-1 one, one birds from Allrun's Epiphany become 4-4 four, four birds. Uh, your Emergent Sequence lands become 6-6s six, if they haven't received more counters aside from their initial drop. It's just a big power anthem. Oh, also, if you put counters on Tanazir Quandrix with something like Ranger Class, uh, that means everything else becomes five fives or six sixes. So Tanazir is just a way to make a kind of underwhelming nah, board presence into a really scary like one or two turn clock. Tends to close out the games if he's not immediately removed. Uh, at the very top end, we have Allrun's Epiphany. It's just a really strong card. Um, like I mentioned with Tanazir, it makes the birds 4-4s. Four uh, you can put counters on the birds too with Ranger's class, which is weirdly strong. The mana base isn't too complicated. I generally favor having good, like, dual lands over having the man lands. The one concession to man lands stuff just being a faceless haven. If you like the deck or enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and stuff, clicking all the buttons. I genuinely help support the channel. Everyone's been really lovely about that lately, so thank you so much. And let's get on to some games. Um, hand is alright. We'll keep... I think we're probably playing out the Jawari Disruption as a land. Try to get up to the Alrun's Epiphany. Oh, uh, I did tank my rank slightly testing something. Ooh, Scourge of the Skyclaves combo. Haven't seen that in a while, if that's what they're doing. Um, a kind of interesting interaction that I wasted way too much time on, but it's neat. Uh, you can use Echoing Equation to create non-legendary Essica's Chariots, and then you can use Essica's Chariot's attack trigger. Sure. Uh, you can use Essica's Chariot's attack trigger to duplicate those non-legendary Chariots. Uh, and you can repeat that process, creating exponential cats. 
it's not strong enough to make it into a video, or like not not something I ultimately. Words are hard. Um, not something I ultimately felt comfortable putting forward as like a cool strong thing to do. It's a neat interaction, though. Uh, you don't get layers being relevant on Arena all that often. Layers being the order, or like how specific things like copying resolve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shambling ghast. Uh, this could be bad. We don't have a decisive denial to block a blood on the snow. I maybe should have thought about that before I played out both of our oozes. I try not to try not to be um in videos and stuff too much. I just hate this play pattern. It's incredibly boring. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love dealing with the exact same deck in 80% of games. I say slamming multiple all runs epiphanies. Um, do as I say, not as I do. No. Do as I do, not. You get the idea. All runs two electric boogaloo. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of ability to leverage this. Um, might actually see if we can get Allrund to survive a turn. Or sorry, not Allrund, Tanazir. Just because then if we get the attack trigger, we kill them real quick. Of course, the odds of that happening are, again, slim, but... Not a board wipe. Also not a board wipe. Oh, look at all those not board wipes. Uh, yeah, so they will take 12, 16? Ba-ba-ba, birds. Birds are the words. Da -da -ba -ba birds. Vroom vroom. I will take that action. Love my 4-4 four -four birds. <sighs> Forgive the earlier salt, I just hadn't... I didn't know if we'd, uh... If we'd get to this beautiful board state. To quote, uh... The great fle... Well, nope. Vroom vroom. The, the smashing was so good that I... I forgot my words for a moment. Good games to the opponent. Oh, this hand is real patchy. We have plays on two and four. We can foretell our own other beep but up all runs on three. Um real borderline. I think we'll keep. This could be a wrong call. Hey opponent. Um Hmm, yeah, more more lands makes this hand a bit awkward. The thing we're hoping for is, like, a fight effect. Okay, if they're Orzhov, we would love a Decisive Denial, even a Jawari Disruption. Um... Ooze helps this hand. It's not immediately exciting. But it does let us apply some pressure right away. Helps fill our curve out. Vanishing Verse, not ideal for us, but the fact that they missed a land drop there is pretty good. Pretty relevant. Hmm. Eh, I'll take this. We're not happy about this trade, of course. Uh, the reason I'm willing to do that is just because they're missing a land drop. Ugh. Pretentious bird. Pretentious bird is no bueno. No good in this household.
Dragon's Guard Elite, of course, gets some counters, so a new Epiphany, which is nice. So they're on Clerics, I would expect to... Um, ooh. Elite Spellbinder with double foretold Epiphanies. Pretty fine for us. Mm, we don't love this situation. Now that we have the Elite at 4-4, four, four, I'm much more happy attacking here. Just, it at least kills the Righteous Valkyrie. Oh, they're doing this. Understandable. I say understandable. Relatively greedy. Um, hmm. The thing I'm going to do here... The thing I want to do is just kill that bird, because I... I... Oh, I... It, Righteous Valkyrie is a pet peeve card of mine. The thing I think they're going to do is, like, Doomscar or something. And I would like to hold up the mana to Decisive Denial that. Hmm? Alternately, if they're not doing that, I would like to hold up the mana to deny their Vanishing Verse, their Soul Shatter. No, oh, they're just doing this? Sure. Bing. Bong. Good games to the opponents. Oh, the evil list of nines are guaranteed to shoot crooked. Um, this hand is decent. A little concerning. A fight spell or something would help me feel better about it, but it's not bad. Get our snarl out of the way. Potentially mono green. Hmm. Uh, play with that forest, get the rangers class down. Oh, love, love real time muting. Okay. So, yeah. Snarl, level up, the rangers class, a oh, vroom vroom. We connect as is expected. Uh, the matchup versus Mono Green tends to be a little bit coin flippy, unfortunately, or like it's. I feel like the matchup versus mono, mono Green for a lot of decks is how many Blizzard Brawls did they draw? Uh, we can do some interesting things like Decisive Denial, taking out Essica's Chariot is very good if you can pull that off. Um, in this situation with these cards in hand, at this time of year, localized entirely to this game, I like this series of plays. So we're getting close to Epiphany. We do want to try to set up like a nice Orin Reef Ooze. No! Hmm. It's not ideal, of course, but them doing that instead of, say, like having an Arled Professor out and taking out our 4-4 four -four or something is not the worst. Um, I think we do want to sit back for a turn. Try to not die. Not dying tends to be pretty good, pretty powerful. Although, one, two, three, uh -huh. mm, they have ways to kill us. Uh, like an Inscription of Abundance Blizzard Brawl would, if not outright kill us, get, get real close. Ooh, hello. Someone's up to some spicy business. Do we have the kill on the swingback or crackback? We should, right?
because we have the Epiphany, they have no counter magic. This is one of my favorite parts of the deck. Uh, Ranger's Classes plus All Runs Epiphany gives you a lot of... They, they realize the line. Uh, good games to them. It gives you so much value, so much value. The All Runs Epiphany is a goofy, goofy card. Abuse it. Abuse it if you curve up to five or six mana in a deck with blue. Hmm, this hand is an interesting hand. We'll keep. Jawari tapped. I'll probably do Dragon's Guard Elite first. I lead with Emergent Sequence more when there's a four mana play I really want to make. But yeah, in this case, I just want to get creatures on the field. Okay. Ah, uh, things are already awkward. Hmm. Uh, the thing I want to do here is emergent sequence for blue. We're trying to set up to have a turn where we can, like, Orin Reef ooze and hold up decisive denial to deny. Um, kind of anything. Just. Just deny, deny the world. We'll get a counter on our own ooze. We could do that post-combat, I don't think it really matters. Only attack with the elite. Yeah, we do want to hold up denial here. Deadly dispute, presumably, yep. Okay. I... I think I'm gonna deny this, actually. This is kind of a bolt the bird hit. Um, there can be very strong arguments for not doing that and waiting until they... Okay, they will curve up to wolf mana, at least. I just think Deadly Dispute is kind of gross. <laughs> or it's certainly one of those cards in previews I didn't identify as being super strong. Um... If you've been playing 2022 for the past little while, you don't need me to tell you how good this card is, but yeah, it, it's hit the point where I'm getting more comfortable just denying it, trying to cut off their card selection. Cut off their card selection by some other turn or two to swing in with Orin Reef Ooze and etc. Hmm. Don't have many opponents using the thinking emote. So, so, so... We're almost all runs mana. They're holding up something... Baleful Mastery? I assume they're holding up removal. I think we're pretty happy with... This, though? Opponent has me nervous. <sighs> Shadow's Verdict would be very bad for us. I think that's the only thing I'm really concerned about, though. I don't know why they didn't like environmental science. Lolf, we're fine. Lolf. Uh, I eat Lolfs for breakfast. Terror. Do what I demand. Uh, vroom vroom. <sighs> I like this deck. This deck is fun, this deck is good. Play this deck instead of this. <sighs> good games to the opponent. Hand is totally fine. Love early creatures. Removal spell. I can dig it. Mono green? Mono green. I think, I think, I would like to... Ranger's class? We might next turn Dragon's Guard Elite Blizzard Brawl? That would be kind of good. Double Swarm Shamblers, a little awkward since they do poop out a lot of 1-1 insect creatures. 
but hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that might be good enough. They go for it. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> That's certainly a move you can do that helps us a lot. We will we we take these punishes here. <laughs> Next turn I think uh, we could Orin Reef Ooze. I don't hate doing the emergent sequence. Hmm. Fight spells, not the worst. I kind of like it. We can get Dragon's Guard up to a 4-4. Four, four. We have two blue. You want two blue mana for All Runs Epiphany. Aside from that, though, you can be pretty... Uh, you can go lean pretty hard on green. Green mana. Okay. Doing all right. Opponent to ten. They did have that one punt, but this is a, just a nice smooth rollout. Old growth troll, sure. Love and ooze. Um, we will put a counter on. The wolf. They can double block the dragon's guard elite here. No, they go for the trade and the chump. I don't hate that from them. Um, yeah, the ramp from the troll death can also be... No, we just had like a real nice smooth rollout. Good games to the opponent. Uh, this hand is... Hmm. This could be bad. Uh, it's bad versus aggro. Unless we draw creatures. The curve we're looking at here is all runs, foretell all runs on, on two, ornery foos on three. Looks like they're playing the party deck, which, uh, full honesty, we are probably going to get steamrolled by the party deck matchup. Ooh. Oh, or maybe not. Hmm. Let's do the ooze. Uh, the party deck, the speed of the party deck can be very awkward. Sorry, that was blue. Oh, duh. It's just, is it dragons? Yeah, the speed the party deck works, it can be awkward for us, but... Most other decks aren't fast enough. Um, or is it Dragon matchup is... Mm, patchy. The Decisive Denials are very good in this matchup. <sighs> Let's give this a shot. Mostly because... I think I... Uh, they might counter this. I think we counter the counter. Uh, just having a body on the field to blizzard brawl their dragons with is not bad. Although we are a snow source short. So the thing we need to do next turn if they play out a goldspan dragon is Quandrix, fetch green, use the blizzard brawl to kill a thing. Prismari command, sure. Not great for us, not the worst. Disdainful Stroke or something, maybe? We have the two blues, we have the two blues. Uh, uh, uh. I'll fight that for a dollar. And by a dollar, I mean one green mana. <laughs> These dumb costume glasses are very... make me feel very anime, or like... Uh... It's a very specific motion. Anyway. Uh, room, room. Let me smash. Opponent. 
opponent, let me smash. We're afraid of like Dragon Spire or Veal Gold Span here. Um, I'll take a Behold the Multiverse. I mean, it's not great. Ooh, two top. It's really not great, but I'll. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, part of the thing that makes dragons tricky is there's several different builds. Uh, like at the moment, Draconic Intervention... No, we, they only have up to four, so they would get the Orin Reef Ooze with that. I'm expecting an All Runs Epiphany here. Yep. The good thing for us is that that wasn't a gold span first, then All Runs. Hmm. Weird close game. Emrith. They're running Emrith. Okay. I thought Emrith fell out of Vogue, but I guess not. Goldspan. Eh, sure. Would be good to have a way to get a counter on our ooze. Like a Rangers class, perhaps. Opponent? Rude. Uh, uh that might that might be game. If we draw another land here, we still have a shot. Yeah, we had one decisive denial to work with, which is pretty important in the matchup. Uh, the Jawari Disruptions 2, we had to play at 1 as a land, which isn't... isn't totally ideal. They also had a nice spread of removal, or three removal spells. I haven't been Magma Opus in a while, so that's something. Uh, yeah, we're straight up dead. Okay. Yeah, so the Dragon's matchup very much defined by, like, having counter magic to deal with all their stuff. Um, as far as things I could have done better that match, I think countering the counter spell on the Dragon's Guard Elite was potentially incorrect. Like, I should have countered something higher value or something reactive they were doing. Um, but yeah, it's difficult matchup, which is kind of to be expected. Oh, very fine hand. Okay. Uh, Jory Disruption tapped. Dragon's Guard Elite or Ranger class. White, so we're versus... Oh, Orzhov. Okay. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. I might do Emergence Sequence here, actually. Now, fetch a forest. Hmm. Reason non-land permanent. It's one nice thing about relying on emergence. Oop. Whoopsie daisy. Nope. Accidentally smashing my keyboard, getting too excited about the opponent. Whiffing. Uh, yeah, one nice thing about relying on Emergent Sequence is a 2-drop. It's just the fact- ooh, this is nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's- let's do this. We have three Snow Permanents, so we can fight the Adventurer here. And swing in. Uh, there's a few removal spells that specify non-land permanent. So you get to do a kind of baby Ashaya thing of like, Aha, it's a land. Get dunked on portable hole. Nadar. Alright, alright. Uh, offhand, I think the move is fighter class level up attacking with Dragon's Guard Elite. Hmm, do I actually like that? Hmm. 
Uh, something about that does not sit quite right with me. We can also just kind of relax for a turn. They're on three mana, so we're not going to get anything too weird happening. Like, just in terms of the opponent, blood on the snowing, wiping the board, uh, anything like that. Our snow-covered island, also now a 4-4. Four, four. Ooh, that one does not specify non-land. Okay. Rip. They don't have good attacks here, though, which is nice. In this case, yeah, that, that makes our uh, Tanazir pump a little awkward. But now that Tanazir's attacking, we have a real good, real spooky Dragon's Guard elite. Opponent's about to take 11. Opponent reading the card. It does explain. Uh, reading the card does explain the card, or so I hear. Yeah, Tanazir is a weird card that I very much have been enjoying. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. precipitous drop on Tanazir. Interesting. I don't think that's worth it. Whoops, they do complete the dungeon. Never mind. Very worth it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, the thing we can do here... No, sorry, that's already leveled up. So we can do this, declare attackers, decisive denial at instant speed. Counter. Room, room. Dragon Scar elites get big. And we connect for seven. Almost there, if we can just not get... Not get Shadows Verdicted? I know, I know when I say that it sounds like I'm joking around, but people play some weird, weird decks in Mythic. Oh, I like that. Uh, Sack the Wolf, just our worst creature. Hmm... Blue... We're so close to having a kill here. Uh, we can pay for the Dragon's Guard Elite level up if our smaller one had another counter on it. Uh, it would double. I think we need to pay for Ranger class and swing in. Oh! Punt! Punt, punt, punt. Fuck. Whoopsie daisy. Ah. Uh, oh, that's that's the worst thing I've done in a video recently. Or I don't know, I was playing a little messy earlier too. Uh, so yeah, we would have put the counter on, pay for the doubling post after they declare blockers had lethal. Ah, uh, that's awkward. That's real awkward. Oh no. Hmm. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. That seems ambitious to me, but all right. <sighs> well, let's hope that that doesn't cost me the game, because that was, like I said, real bad. I could play out the Jewelry Disruption as a land at this point, but like we already have all runs of Hifni mana, so mm, not too worried about it. Opponent getting good value out of Fate's Reversal, which is kind of fun to see, or like, oh no, the first one was Silver Quill, 
the, the first reanimation effect right. Yeah. I think we might be okay just based off of how long they're taking to do things. Or we might... Ah, uh, we'll, we'll see. Barrowin, sure. Uh, they can keep reanimating the triumphant adventure, and we are flooding, which is... Yeah, none of that's great. Or sorry, of course they can't, cuz... Uh, we can do this and still hold open Jawari, so sure. Cuz they would die, so... Just attack. Oh. Yeah, let let this be a lesson that consider your attacks before you do stuff. I don't know. Punt less than me. That's my uh my stunning advice for you. Yeah, weird hitch from them, but they're remembering that they're playing a game. They've always had the one mana for Jawari Disruption, which is real awkward, but... We at least get a little bit of value off of Ranger class. Eventually, eventually they'll tap out. Or do something big and splashy. I say like they've played anything above, I guess Silver Quill is four mana. Seems more likely that we'll get them with a double spell, like they'll do something at two mana and something at three, but... Nadar? Okay. Scry two. They're going to set up for the second proc. Two top, zero bottom. Don't love that. I was just rev... Hmm. Jewelry disruption, please. Jewelry disruption, please. Oh no. Oh. All runs incoming, so that's something. Of uh, room, room. Yeah, so they have to block both. Oh, I I feel real awkward about that match, mostly because of the punt, but I think I might keep it in because it's a good lesson to, yeah, consider what's going to get a counter when, etc, etc. Shows off Dragon's Guard Elite's second ability being actually relevant, and so on. Um, I've been recording for a little bit over an hour, which is usually how long I try to record, so I think I'll end the video on that. Slightly messy, slightly weird game. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, thank you so much. Consider subscribing and clicking on all the buttons. Genuinely helps. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to gear up production and stuff come by the time Innistrad happens. Although in the meantime, I'll probably be doing some Jumpstart Historic Horizon stuff. I'm rambling at this point. Thank you for watching, and bye bye